as they used to do in the academy, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like basic training. Get ready. They're now starving for that oxygen, trying to breathe in through this mask. Hard season, my feet are burning. My lower abs from bringing my feet in. Oh man. What's up, fire team? Welcome back to Shift Fire, the exploration and appreciation of military culture. Folks, we are here with a special episode of FTX with Chris the Cop, who is going to be running us through a SWAT physical fitness test. Chris, what does the SWAT PT test consist of? This is the National Tactical Officer Association PT test. They're gonna be required to first run 800 meters dressed the way they are. They're gonna come back, then they're gonna be required to do a 400 meter run in full kit, and you'll get to see what that is. Come on in, three minute rest, and then they're gonna do three minutes of burpees. After that, they're gonna get a three minute rest, and then they're gonna do two minutes of air squats with the three minute rest. And then last, they're gonna do one minute of pull-ups with the first five pull-ups being strict. And then from there, we're gonna see if these two have what it takes to be a SWAT operator. So Izzy, you ready to do the uh, SWAT PT test? I'm man? ready, man, let's get it on. Let's do it. I'm ready. ready. My watch is ready. Go. So just for the audience, we've mapped out a 400 meter run. So they're gonna run by us twice. Now this is called a PFQ physical fitness qualifications. A lot of teams will utilize this PT test to see if a police officer is ready to become a SWAT operator. And then to stay on a SWAT team, you have to maintain a certain level of physical fitness. So they'll possibly perform this test once again yearly. This is that measurement to make sure that you're still doing what you need to do physical fitness wise in your personal life by eating right, exercising, and keeping yourself physically maintained because of the rigors of being on a SWAT team. There are just so many different things that are required from you because one day you could be running next day you could be hopping walls this is that test that kind of gauges if you are physically fit enough to first pass SWAT school which is a two-week school and then stay on the SWAT team here they come one minute 32 seconds gentlemen so they've now just finished their first lap and they're making their way to the 200 meter mark for a total of 800 meters when they come in, they're gonna have a three minute rest. And then during that three minutes though, they're not gonna be able to really rest. They're gonna have to put on tactical vests. They're gonna have to put on their mask. And now they're gonna be carrying two 25 pound dumbbells and still have to do this run. They're gonna be utilizing their legs, but now they gotta carry two 25 pound dumbbells and their body is gonna be starving for oxygen. Respiratory rate's gonna increase. They're automatically gonna become tachycardic, which means your heart rate is racing. So all of these things are bombarding their body to kind of put you into that situation that you would be put into during a SWAT operation. Here they come. All right, gentlemen, 308. I will go record that. Thanks for setting a good pace, Cam. Oh, that was tough. I haven't ran 800 in a while. I'll find a rhythm and keep it. That's what I need. Izzy and I, we're kind of pacing off each other. So you guys are coming up on your first minute of rest. Okay. And now they're gonna be required to do one lap, which is 400 meters. This is really going to tax their body because at this point in time, their body's gonna be starving for oxygen. You are on minute two of your rest. Let's get up. Just two minutes into this, they're still breathing hard. How much time we got, Chris? You got 40 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Both of them, just let the weights rest, the dumbbells rest right here. That's the best strategy, just let the weight and then let your arm, your legs do the walking, try to minimize your movement because if they start using their arms like this, they're gonna tax their respiratory system much more. Now their torso is kind of shrinking down with that weight, compressing the torso. You're putting stress on the respiratory system. So right now they're using all of their muscles, they're using those chest muscles, they're using that diaphragm to try to take in as much breath as they possibly can. All right, let's go. Okay, they're starting to come around the corner now. That took a lot longer than I anticipated. 829. 855. There you go. Woo! That's gotta be what it's like to have an asthma attack. Nice, man, you killed that one. Okay, so now they're resting for their three minutes. Then they're gonna do three minutes of burpees. They have to get as many burpees as they possibly can. Every burpee means a certain point. And we have to get a certain score on this to pass. This is not a pass fail. There are points associated with everything that they're about to do. At least the part that I was looking less forward to. 
with what we just got done. As they used to do in the academy, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like basic training. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Boop. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One minute into this. And stop. All right, three minutes. Arches and my feet are burnt. My lower abs from bringing my feet in. Oh man. So this is exactly what the test has been designed to do, is tax them. And the worst part though is now they're starting to have the mental knowing that they got to do two minutes of air squats. Mentally, they're trying to prepare for two minutes of air squats while still trying to recover from doing all of these burpees. How much time we got? You got actually 40 seconds. Live now. Don't worry about tomorrow. Four, three, two, one, go. They're now starving for that oxygen, trying to breathe in through this mask, and that's gonna start taxing the respiratory system, as well as that vest. Once again, that vest is compressing their chest, causing them to have some a little bit of shortness of breath. And then by doing the air squat, we're compressing that every, even more. But now, the largest muscle in their body, their thigh muscles, are now screaming for oxygen, which is now gonna cause their respiratory rate to increase, and then for their heart rate to increase, as well as their blood pressure to rise now. <laughs> Halfway, gentlemen. Knees and butt have to be a 90 degree angle for the actual air squat to count. One minute. Good job. 30 seconds. When they get done, they're gonna have what we call sentence dyspnea. They're not gonna be able to have, say, a full sentence without taking a few breaths. And stop. Is, can you count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Uh, legs are a little sore. My strategy for the mask was to blow hard. Yeah. Try to give myself, so blow hard, take a quick breath. Try to create space and then breathe in. PT test are all about cheating the system. So I didn't tighten it down. It just says, wear it. So I had a little bit of air to breathe from. I was trying to go unbroken, but man, oh man, my muscles kind of burn out. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting my cardio back, my, yeah. my breath back. Folks, if you want to look cool while you're working out, go to kickgodapparel.com. And if you want to hang out with Izzy and play video games, go to twitch.tv slash myhappyself. I love how we know each other's faces. Yeah, I got to get away from you, dude. <laughs> I think we need some time apart. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. The first five pull-ups would have to be a strict pull-up, so that way there was no what they call cheating. You have 30 seconds into this, gentlemen. The best strategy on this one is to get your five pull-ups out of the way, start doing what they call the kipping push-ups, which is very common in CrossFit. Kipping pull-ups. Kipping pull-ups, thank you. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Good job, gentlemen. Feeling good. Honestly, that first hump was just the running. Yeah, the and running, then, man, takes it out of you. A run, and then a weighted run. Yeah. If you get through that, I feel like the hard part is over. It's over, and that's just grinding. It's basic PT Yeah. This was a great assessment. It's short, so you don't have as much anxiety as you're waiting for the next person to go, because it's just station after station after station. That was my least favorite thing about the Army PT test is because you just wait behind someone waiting for your fate. You don't know it's gonna come. I think yeah. we crushed this one, dude. Yeah, yeah, for me, the hardest part were those air squats because you gotta put the kit back on. I almost yeah. forgot, you saw that. So I kind of burned out a little bit there, but man, I think it was more muscular than anything else. I feel like I got my cardio back pretty quick. So it makes me feel confident with the stuff that I'm doing at home. Like I'm on the right track, but I could definitely be more methodical, more scientific, kind of like you timing that stuff out, knowing where I'm at, 
and then being able to push from there instead of kind of get, just going by feel every time, you know. First of all, without even counting the numbers, because I, I know the baseline, they all got the max points. You got 10 points. So each event has a max of 10 points. And based upon their times and the amount of repetitions that they did, they have a, a complete perfect 50. You know, you guys would do good in SWAT school. You guys would be good at SWAT operators. So I got to hand it to you, uh, right. the two of you. I think it's probably the hardest thing we've done so far. It was up there for sure. My forearms are just roasted from hanging on the bar yeah. for about a minute. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to get out of bed for a while. Folks, this is shift fire. CT oh, folks, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you thought of this PT test and what other military or law enforcement based PT tests we could do.